So this beach used to be covered with ice plant, but it's an invasive here and it took over and we saw our habitat disappear. We saw our snowy pulvers disappear. We saw our bush bunnies and our burrowing owls disappear. And the beach suffered from great erosion and floods and sand was carried away from this habitat. This is my classroom, third grade students from Galt that are part of a five year legacy where we have claimed this beach, this habitat as part of our community and we are connected to it and we're practicing stewardship today. The NOAA Ocean Guardian School Program is really an opportunity to have kids out in the environment doing hands-on projects that are really stewardship based. So the kids are learning by doing, working with their hands and conserving our beautiful area like this, the Monterey Bay National Main Sanctuary. One of the projects that we're looking at right now is the kids are actually planting native dune plants, restoring a beach dune system that was degraded with invasive plants and they're taking the time to learn why they're doing this. We're teaching kids that through doing these conservation projects and these stewardship projects, they're actually helping to protect the ocean. My name is Gianna and I'm an ocean guardian and why I love being an ocean guardian is because I really like saving sea animals, but what I don't like is if there's a bunch of plastic, that's not what I like to see. This is a great example of really connecting kids and showing them that by doing and by creating opportunities for them to actually get into their own community and restoring degraded dune systems, that they can help protect our natural resources and our sanctuary resources. These kids, right here, these kids are actually protecting Monterey Bay National Meat Sanctuary resources. So we came from Galt School so we could do this. We're just planting native plants and taking out the ice plant. The ice plant doesn't really have any nutrients for other plants. It's pulling all the water out. A local community partner that actually works all up and down the coast here in California that really helps support the school in terms of the science behind it is Groundswell. Getting kids involved in changing their environment for the better is, there's never been a more important time. I mean, we are facing changes on a global scale at an unprecedented rate. And so involving students in even small changes gets them in that mindset that, that they can make a change. And then having that connection, that sense of place, having that place-based awareness to their backyard, I think making that connection is very important. One of our partner organizations that we're working with, and we really couldn't run the program without their support, is the National Marine Sanctuary Foundation. We've been partnering with them to look to expand this program, because right now we are limited in some of the areas that we can serve, and working with the foundation in close partnership, they are helping to support us to expand it nationwide. We'd love to see this program into more schools, into more regions, into more states across our country. My greatest hopes for the Ocean Guardian students is that they have a happy life, <laughs> that they're successful, that they do something that they enjoy, and that they take away the opportunity that they've had with the program, that they never forget it. When we went to Mallows Bay, there wasn't too much trash there, and we were admiring it because a lot of places that we go, there's a lot of trash everywhere. I did get to go to the county commissioner's office and speak so that they might be able to make a lot of banned plastic straws in restaurants. That was pretty cool because I, I'm just I'm in fifth grade and I got to do that. I might be making a law, so that would be cool. They're working together for one cause and it's bigger than just themselves and so they're connecting to things that are important and it has relevance and it has meaning for them and they're seeing that education goes outside the classroom and it can be fun to learn and to get ideas and then to make something happen. We're grateful to Ocean Guardian for being the leaders and teaching people that you don't have to wait for someone else to create change. Um, but they gave us the platform, the opportunity, and it's been an awesome experience. 
I've certainly learned a lot more and have a lot more just focus. And I mean, I just love this program because it has really, really stoked her interest in the environment as well as the sciences. And it's just been a wonderful thing. I think we're changing kids' lives. They want to know how to fix this environment. They hear the stories and they want to know how they can change it. And we're giving these kids the opportunity to have their environmental voice. I hope that the ocean can get cleaner. And I hope that from our class doing it, that other people realize how important it is. And I hope that other people will become ocean guardians too. One of the greatest things about this program is that we are always trying to make the link between education and resource protection. And this program has really done that. We're seeing now that with the hard work of kids and getting them involved and the continued work that they are able to provide, that we're seeing these native dune ecosystems return to their natural habitat. And because of that, we have two threatened and endangered species that have returned to these ecosystems, the snowy plover and the burrowing owl. And this is the first time that we've actually been able to link an education program with actually protecting the environment. So we're seeing it, these kids are doing it.